Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's I'm Beowulf back at it with another video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers hit the bell notification. Get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Also, too, check out my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. And then the new I am Beowulf merch store at beowulfnation.com. Uh, and you can see it at the bottom of the video when you're watching on your phone or on your computer, directly buying off of YouTube. Also, too, all the merch that's on uh, I am Beowulf.com is all going to be discontinued. So while supplies last is what's on there. And then there's some used stuff on there. So check that out. So let's give a little bit of update. You've seen the video. A couple weeks ago, I talked about the BRP Can-Am factory went up in flames. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And from what it is, they have two locations there. So one is I pretty positive destroyed, and the other one they brought up operational. So here's the article, BRP resumes operations after fire at Can-Am plant. Now I'm pretty positive the sea plants nearby there and um, yeah, luckily nobody was hurt. I, uh, there was a past article I read after making the last video that took over 200 firefighters to take out the fire there. It's a lot of firefighters, that means it's a massive fire. Uh, see, it says here, uh, this town where it is, it's very hard to pronounce. So it says BRP will refer, refer BRP will resume operations at Juarez, Mexico facility after a large fire burned in the storage yard. BRP manufactures Can-Am side-by-sides at the facility and they ma manufacture UTVs. This article is leaving out a lot of stuff. So they man manufacture ATVs and UTVs there. The manufacturing facility itself was not damaged. All the workers were, were safely evacuated. It, it's very hard to tell when you look at this fire and say that the factory wasn't damaged, it's just very hard to believe. Uh, it, either it's all their inventory got burned to the ground. Uh, the other thing too, I read another article, they already got their insurance claim the next day with all the damaged units, which seems very suspicious in my opinion. I don't know, I'm just not a fan. Not to give any advice on what you be, should be buying, but I have to stay away from BRP stuff. There's, there's always some something fishy going on with them. Uh, it says the fire broke out Saturday, uh, July 17th. Something reported an explosion in the facility. Thick black smoke could be seen miles as Mexico authorities worked to extinguish the fire. Several UTVs burned unsalvageable. BRP says the units that were lost represent six days of production and the, and the dealers and the customers can expect delivery dates while the plant catches back up in production, fire under investigation. That's from one article. That's not really telling much. Let me find another article. I know from people who were uh, comedy and said they haven't even got their 2021 models and then they're soon to be releasing the 2022s. It's actually pretty, um, pretty crazy. Okay, here's another article I found. Uh, Wow, I'm gonna add this photo to put up on here because it is just like a lot of units destroyed. I mean, a lot of different photos than stuff I've seen. No damage was caught in manufacturing facility where the side-by-side, -side... see, it's so interesting when you read these articles because it's a bunch of different stuff. So let me read this whole thing. Uh, it says that the, the same facility, all employees announced that on-site were safety evacuate, safely evacuated and that no reported injuries. The damage was caused by manufacturing facility. Caused, no damage was caused to the manufacturing facility where the side-by-sides are produced. The company is ready to resume production and expecting to receiving clearance from authorities by midweek. Here's some chief executive or president and chief executive officer of BRP. I am pleased that all employees are safe and following our health and safety protocols. We appreciate the quick assistance of the firefighters, local businesses, and authorities. We do not anticipate any material impact to our business. Stated Joe's Bazili, sounds like a French name, President Chief Executive of Officer of BRP. I don't know, man. If they got the same day afterwards, 
almost all the UTVs that were racked, they got their insurance claim on it. Insurance claims take a while. Maybe if it's a big corporate company, I don't know. But it seems like old fishy, everything's destroyed, and you got a, got a paycheck from your insurance already. Seems a little suspicious, but hey, that's what people were seeing, and that was one another article. It's funny when you read these articles, because there's a bunch of stuff left out about stuff like that. So the company's working with authorities and internal ex and external experts to determine the cause of the incident. Yeah, well, they're looking at a bunch of things, because it's like I said, something fishy. Some SSV units that were in our storage yard were lost, represent approximately six days of production. Now, it's funny is that how they say, don't really give the amount that were wrecked. Um, we're expecting the incident will delay certain SS vehicle, SSV deliveries. Dealers and customers are assured we are putting measures in place to mitigate its impact. And then just talks about this whole, we're not gonna give the life story of uh, BRP. It's definitely just really bizarre, but it's a good thing nobody was hurt. But uh, it, it leaves out it was two factories there. Now they say the factory is not damaged, but when you look at the videos, it looked like the factory was on. It, video I saw, the factory was on fire. And then I think they're kind of almost doing this over. He doesn't run to another brand to go buy stuff. But again, uh, I just want to give an update what's going on because after the fact, I tried to update what happened when the fire starts. I figured to give an update with that. So, like I said, comment down the comment down the bottom what you guys think. I know in the last video, a lot of Can Am owners that haven't got their vehicle, uh, I think the majority of them were side by sides, haven't got their UTVs yet, and uh, they're all concerned and. Yeah, it's uh, I, I feel you pain. Those things aren't cheap. They're not. It's like buying a. It's not like buying a small car. Now they're like it is exactly buying a car. It's actually funny when you buy one of those side by sides. You could go buy a Jeep Wrangler, <laughs> for about the same price, and then go right around the street. Which, I mean, to me doesn't make sense. I mean, I had myself a side by side when I had a dairy goat operation, but I had a, a Kubota and I had to use it to haul like the hay and the water and all that. I used it as a workhorse. It was a working machine, uh, not as a, I wouldn't say it was a, it was fun riding around, but it was, it was a, it was a workhorse. It was made to do a lot of work, had a little trailer pulling behind it. It was, it was put to work, had a snow blade on it, plowed a driveway. Uh, yeah, it was de definitely, uh, I know when I was looking before that, looking at a can am I knew it couldn't do what I needed to do is what, uh, uh, one of the more bigger du duty for workhorse machines would do, but each their own. What makes you happy, you know? Uh, so it's the end of the video. Hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers hit the bell notification. Get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. I'm actually jetting right now to go jet skiing. Uh, we've, we've had a lot of rain and it's actually it's actually pretty hot in the garage right now. It's uh, it's about over 100 degrees outside right now. And I can feel I can feel the heat. I have fan running in here beforehand and I can feel the heat. So I'll see you guys next one. Remember, stay muddy and keep strong.